Hi everybody, we're back. Okay, now we did everything we need to do. Now we have our house, and now it's time to create construction documents and set up our sheets. Uh, this is probably one of my fun, most fun parts in Revit. So right now, this is our floor plan. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go into my uh, project browser, and I like to right click here. Let's see what's going on here in the foundation plan. Actually, we will need this too. So let's do this one first. So we've got our foundation here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go and grab some sheets. So to, to grab a sheet, you go on your project browser and you do a right click and you go to new sheet. Now you can have, ooh, no sheets loaded. Okay, so I load a sheet here. Now, you can go and create your own sheets or have your own sheets, but I'm going to use the Autodesk. So for this, uh, heck, let's just go with the big one. Let's go with the 30 by 42. Probably going to be over, oversized for us, but we'll use that. And then we'll say, okay. So there's that sheet. So now we have our foundation plan ready to go so all you have to do is take this guy and I like to duplicate this well actually this is fine but I tend to duplicate all my sheets uh, so I'm going to duplicate this view actually we can just drag and drop this one so let's just take this and drag and drop it and there's our foundation plan now, this is a bit small for this sheet. Actually, now we can change the sheet by just simply taking it, hitting the sheet, and going to edit type. And we can go and load another one, or we can select another sheet size. So we can just go load. And let's go with the, hmm, that's even bigger. You know what? Let's keep this one we have. Cancel that. So now let's do a right click here. I'm going to activate this view. And let's make this a quarter inch scale. Great. And we'll deactivate this view. And now we've got all of these lines in here. And so we want to try to crop this thing. So to crop the view, let's go in over here into our properties. Let's just crop this guy. Activate this view. And then I want to hit this little to turn on the crop view, that little light there. And let's just grab these little dots and drag these guys in here like so. So we have our foundation or our basement plan, or we didn't have a basement here. So let's take this and deactivate this guy. And then we'll just move this right here. So that's our foundation plan. And then to move this, we can move this little dot here. And what happens is you have to sort of select this, and then you can just grab it. You can do it like this, and just drag it here into place. And that's our foundation plan at a quarter inch scale. So probably all our plans will be a quarter inch because that fits rather nicely here. And that's our foundation plan. Now the next one we'll do is our floor plan. So we'll go and add another sheet. And we'll go low. We want the 30 by 42. Oh, sorry. Just go OK here. It's already set. And now here, we want to do our finished floor plan. So right here, I want to, that's the ceiling. So for the finished floor plan, I want to duplicate this one. 
And I want to go here and duplicate with detailing. And I'm going to call this one first floor plan. I'm going to rename it here. And let's call it first floor plan. Okay, now we've got our sheet here. And we'll go pick up our first floor plan and just drag and drop it here. Oh, I want to rename that because it's misspelled it. Hmm. Okay, this is like one of the easiest and the funnest thing to do once you get your model because it's all going to be parametric. So I'll just drag that out there like so. And now we got some cropping to do here. We're going to right click this guy, activate this view. Now we don't need all of our site and stuff. It's actually, we should have created a site join. So we're going to go back and do that. That should be actually, we'll do that next. But we should have done that before. So let's go in here again and turn these on. And let's crop this view just to see our floor plan. And now let's go here and let's change the scale to one quarter inch. And we'll drag it. Oh, we don't want to do it that way. We want to deactivate it first and then drag it. Now actually, you probably could make it a little bigger since this sheet is so large. But we'll leave it at this size. We might want to add something else here later on or something. And we'll move this title here. So that's our first floor plan. Now, let's see what happens when we change the scale to the next scale up, 3 eighths. That's a bit tight. And I always like to leave a little extra room on the sheets. So this is fine. So there's our floor plan. And then we have our basement plan here. So we can rename these. So what I normally do is, I normally do my site plan first. So what I'll do is I'll go here now. And I'll add another sheet. Right click new sheet. And then I'll go OK. And then we'll take the site plan. So we'll just take the site from the project browser here and just drag and drop it. Now at this point, we can make this a little bigger here. Let's make this, uh, see, we do a 1 to, say 1 to 20. See what happens when we do this. One sixteenth. Okay, let's do one eighth. See what happens. No, that's a bit big. So let's do it the one sixteenth. And so there's our site plan. And then we'll need other things on here. We can uh, put other views on it, but this is probably going to be our opening sheet. In fact, you can do things like this. You can go here and remember our three D view. We can drag and drop it out here. Nope, that's not the one. Is it this one? Yeah, there it is. So we can do some things with that. So we'll come back on that later. But just want to get the sheet set up. So there's our site plan. And I think that's ESD True North. I have to check and check that PDF and see if we got the right north view here. If not, we got to do some things. So there's our site plan. So now we have our foundation plan, our first level. And what I want to do here now is I'm going to start naming these. So I want to go here, and I like to name this one site plan. So I want to right-click here, 
and I want to rename and I want to call this uh, let's call this I'm going to just call this AOO because I want this to be the first drawing or you can name it whatever you want and I'm going to call it site plan Okay, and it jumps to the top. That's what I want. So then next drawing is, this should be a S1, but I'm going to just call it foundation plan, rename this. There's our foundation plan. Okay, and then next one. Is that be our first floor? And we'll go okay. Now that PDF I created, I had. If anybody wants it, I can send it to you so you can do follow this exercise. But you can literally take any PDF you have and do what I did here. So now we've got our first floor plan. Now let's go into our level two. So this is level, nope, that's the ceiling, sorry. So this is level two. Okay. So that's our second level. All the things we did up there. So we want to take this one now and duplicate this guy. Now we'll go with detailing. And I'm going to recall this, uh, rename this to second floor plan. There we go. And then we go and get our sheet. sheet here and we'll go OK and we'll take the second floor and drag and drop it here uh oh where did it go first floor foundation plan oh there it is so we'll take this guy and drag and drop it here and we want to activate this view and we want this to be at a quarter inch scale one quarter inch. And then we want to go and then here and we want to fix these. We want to crop these because we don't need to see all this other stuff. We're just interested in the floor. So just crop that guy there like so. And we'll take our title and just move it right there. So now we have our second floor and our first floor. So we have our drawing set up. So now let's go and do some elevations now. So we'll do another sheet. So we'll rename, let's see, we've got this uh, first floor. What's this one? Let's see. What is this? Oh, so this is, we're going to rename this. We're going to do this AO2 or 3. And this will be our second floor plan. So you guys get the message here. You get the idea of what's going on. You should be able to do this. So what I'm going to do, I might leave this and let you do the rest. So we've got our, let's see, nope, rename that, sorry, this should be 103. Just want everything to fall in line, see what happened in the project browser. So there's our site plan.
our foundation, first floor, second floor. Now let's do some um, elevations. So we'll just this will be pretty easy. So I'll do these and then we'll cut this off and go to the next. So we'll go new sheet. We'll go OK here. And then we'll just go with our, we could just drag and drop these. So we'll go with east elevation here. Uh, I want to activate this view here. Actually, we want to get these trees out. We'll shut the trees off. So we're going to activate this view. And I'm going to go here and I want to hide elements. I want to hide category. So I don't want to see any any of the, um, the trees or anything. So I want to go back here and I cancel that. I want to make this fine view. And then I want to turn on my crop. Because I want to crop this guy here. We could put them all on one sheet. Let's see what scale we have here. We're looking at an eighth inch. Uh, this should be a little bigger. Let's make it a quarter inch. Actually, it should be three eighths. Elevation should be a little bigger than the plan drawn. So, but let's go with a quarter inch for now. Yes, that's fine. So there's our east elevation. Activate this view and I want to do some more cropping because we don't need to see a lot of this. Like, we don't need to see the grade here. We just basically want to go about right there. So, there's our east elevation. Now, I'm going to leave it here. Okay, let's go and do one more. Let's go and do the north. activate this view make this a quarter inch we have activated I'm gonna crop it here hit the little light bulb so we can see that and just take these guys and drag them in actually let's turn off these we don't need to see these trees and stuff hide and view hide category okay Let's go and take this guy here. Okay, so there you go. So we got our sheets done. We got two elevations here. We got our, our elevations. Uh, we're getting our sheets together. So the thing about doing this now is good because we've got our model. And this is all going to be parametric for what we're doing. We're pretty much done with the outside of the building. We got a site plan. So we've got this view here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate this guy. And I'm going to do some more cropping here because we don't need to see that. Let me pull this down here. Go like so. Okay, guys, that's it for setting up our sheets. And we've got our, let me right click here, and I'm going to rename this to Elevations. So, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. The next video, we'll, I'm going to let you do these other two elevations. This is the east and the north. I'm going to have you do the south and the west, and I'll meet you in the next video. So, guys, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me out a lot if you subscribe. Um, and, and if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section. So, here's our elevations. 
and we're starting our working drawings for construction documents. Talk to you again soon, and see you in the next video. Bye, and everybody, please be safe.